digging through this earth, this soil that's been here for, it's been here for over a year now. And here's an earthworm right there in it. Just, I never put it there, just there he is though. He's in there and he doesn't like being out in that, in that light, so we'll put him back. But well, it's kind of amazing. I mean, you, you will draw in the earthworms, folks, if you just follow these organic methods and techniques that I keep, keep harping on over and over. They will just find their way. And, uh, yeah. And they'll just find their way in. And that's exactly what you want. All kinds of things happening and going on without you actually having to be there to do anything. I think that's what we're all uh, striving for. Just continuing working on the autumn garden here. The light's starting to get low, so we're gonna have to go back in in a second, but there's something else. So something that looks like a centipede. I'm not sure what the heck that is. That makes some good fishing bait, I know that. You see him? This guy right here? kind of in a nest of ants so I'm not gonna be able to stay here too long before I start getting bitten <laughs> but as you can see uh, look at it, we got roots of all kinds just growing here the little another turnip root there just kind of minding its own business Ooh, let me get out of these ants it's alive the soil's alive <laughs> and that's what you want and that's what you're seeking to cultivate think of your garden as a pet ecological system that you're just nurturing and loving and <laughs> taking care of and providing for and, and it's designed to provide all on its own so but there you go pet ecological system that's what happens when you treat your soil well and build it as opposed to taking out of it I mean just like your savings account or retirement fund if you in general the more you put in it the more you the more it compounds over time you'll get more of it out of it as time goes on That's some sort of grub. I think I may need to start collecting these for fish bait. But anyway, there you go. Check out greenhorngarden.com. Four slash came. And there, you know, you know, once upon a time, there, you, you people did all this stuff on their own, you know. But then as time went on, and and uh, industrial systems took over, and people took more and more white collar jobs. A lot of these simple skills were just simply lost. But, uh, thanks to technologies like the internet, YouTube, podcasts, ebooks, things like this, these skills are being brought back. And you're able to just use this stuff straight away in your own backyard, in your own front yard, in your own garden. And that's the advantage. And that's just really what Greenhorn Gardening is all about trying to replace. And, and rekindle and to rebuild some of these kinds of skills that have been lost over the past hundred years or so. And so there we go. Live dirt. <laughs> I will check you guys later.